What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, the Rockets, over here at the Rockets Gaming. And today, I got some great news for you guys about the division, baby. It's been a great year one, but we are over with with the year one of the division, all right? And I have to say before we get started in this video that it's been a really good experience. If you guys don't know, the division came out this time today exactly on March 8th of 2016 last year. And it was one of the biggest launch for any game in its caliber in history. So it was bigger than COD. It was bigger than any battlefield that you could possibly think of. Any shooter. This was the largest launch thus far in history all right and it's over with year one is over with and today was the reveal of year two year two has been officially confirmed that they will continue on with this game and there are other studios that are actually getting their hands on into the game as well so let's go ahead and jump right into the things that we can look forward to in year two all right so make sure you hit that like button subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and let's get right into it and today, there was the release of the state of the game. Now, if you don't know what state of the game is by now, you've probably been under a rock. But I'm going to go ahead and fill you in. The state of the game is basically something they do every single Wednesday of the podcast. And they basically explain to when we're getting a new DLC, things they're going to fix inside the game, and basically just general knowledge of what's changing and what's to come for the game in the future, and etc. So in today's state of the game, they talked about a lot. And when I mean a lot, I mean about a lot of year two content, all right? There were some year one um, talk about it just a little bit. Quick side note before we go too deep into it. Everybody that's boosting as of right now in the 1.6 era, tomorrow they have confirmed that should be fixed. So look for maintenance to be coming pretty soon, anytime tonight or tomorrow. And I think by Friday that uh, boosting situation should be no longer a thing where everybody should be fighting and earning their caches like what the game was meant to be played. And I just want to say that that's killing the game, guys. Like, just honestly think about boosting. What are you getting when you boost? What are you getting out of it? I'm just going to leave it right there. I'm not going to go too deep into detail about it. But just think about that for a second. Moving on. Year 2 content, baby. Oh, boy, am I excited for year 2. One of the first things that I wanted to shine some light on on my list was exactly loadouts for players. Loadouts was something that was really highly anticipated into DLCs and year one content for a very long time of Division. And it's been a back and forth talk, but it never came. So we can look forward to the loadouts and it's a big factor. And the reason why I say that, a lot of people do have more than one character that they play with. And at times they may have a set of gear on another set of character and that requires them to log out re-log back in, pick that character, and then pursue to whatever they were doing, head to the DZ, or continue to do whatever incursion it was to do. Now you wouldn't have to do that. You have one player. They didn't say how many loadouts we technically can have, but I think it was a total of four if I can't remember. I'm going to put a picture up here right now. It's four. No, correction. It's actually six loadout slots. If you look to the left where it says loadouts, you see where it says empty. It's probably very faint. And then under that, you see Bravo, Charlie, Delta, and then you have also two more empty slots that are the total of six. But this is basically what your loadout looks like, all right? Whatever your gear set you're going to have, that's going to be to the right. The weapons you have actually for that loadout. And if you look to the bottom, also the skills, the way you have it set up and talents will be included in that loadout. Now, this is a big thing. This is an extraordinary big move for the division due to the fact that we no longer have to really use four characters in that sense anymore so if you guys have a pacific favorite character that you like to use more than the other just the simple fact the way they look mm, you better not get too attached anymore because <laughs> i think that's about to change all right now they also went on to talk about something very newly that's coming in year two content of the division they like to bring something into the game that's going to be called seasons now Note that this is not the final name of the actual content that they're bringing into the division, but as of for right now, they call it season. And what is season exactly? Well, seasons are limited time events that are featured a number of activities with a modifier that gives rewards for participation and completion in certain events. This will also have on to the leaderboard, all right? There'll also be modifiers of the seasons, all right? For example, close range. So if you have to fight in close range below 15 meters, you may even need to change your build to participate in more of some of the effective challenges. 
that's just an example to give you. As of now, these seasons are intended for PvE, so not too much PvP, but it's still in discussion as they said in the state of the game today, so let's not count it out just yet. But I think that's really dope. So therefore, there'll be a reason to get into a lot more altercations, a lot more grind, and just hands down a lot more reward. And what happens when you complete these seasons, you'll be honored with badges. They're bringing badges into the game. What soldiers get on their clothing to let them know how badass they are, all right? They didn't go too much into detail and they didn't show us exactly how the badges are gonna look, but I think that's pretty dope. So just like on For Honor, how they have seasons and different events every, you know, so for a couple days or something like that, the division is gonna have something similar to that maybe a little bit better but we'll have to wait and see something else that they brought to my attention and that they brought to a lot of people's attention they also mentioned this word called feats now if that sounds familiar you've actually seen feats if you played in for honor but in for honor feats are actually the special abilities that your character has as of like skills basically just like in the division but feats in the division for the year two content is, is not exactly what you think it is feats are going to be in-game challenges and achievements that will give you special patches just like i said before these are short term medium term and long term goals that they want to bring into the division celebrate moments of great achievements like completing all legendary missions and unlock an amount of points and etc they're also going to be possibly retroactive meaning that when they are able to put the feats into the game you probably will see that you have some of them already unlocked. So let's say you've beat all the legendary missions before this actually comes out. When it finally does come out and is implemented in year two content of the division, you would have that badge already unlocked and ready to go. And another example to give you, like they would say, um, get over 5,000 weak points. And if you don't know what weak points are, weak points is like shooting the container on cleaners. Well, the many times you hit that, sometimes you'll see that happen in a dark zone where that will be certain weeklies, and they'll actually give you a patch for that. So when people see you with certain badges, you know, they'll be like, oh, this guy, you know, he loved doing PvE content, or oh, this guy beat all the incursions on Legendary, so he's a badass. He really knows how to play the game on a whole nother level. So certain things like that just to separate you from looking like other players. And that's basically it. They don't go too much in the detail about the gameplay, like new weapons, new bills but all of that stuff we should have that in mind that it's going to come in year two because it would not make any sense for them to drop year two and don't give us any new gear new weapon and etc 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 now if you're wondering when exactly is all of this going to be coming out do how long do we have to wait well i'm here to tell you exactly we don't have that long to wait the first dlc that contains the loadout for players and the feats and the seasons and the vanity slots and all that etc i just covered that dlc will be coming out july or august of 2017 so be on the lookout for that dlc 2 they didn't go too much into dlc 2 but they're predicting fall or winter basically around the same time you know the year one contents was basically scheduled to be released but take it with a grain of salt because we all know this is the division and nothing that they say is always set in stone things to seem to always happen the day of something great is supposed to be released but for right now they have it as july and august all right now before we wrap this video on up of course i got some more juicy news for you guys all right and you might want to lock this in your phone put it on your calendar whatever you need to do just don't forget this date from march 9th today is march 8th so starting tomorrow all the way to march 11th all right for the year one anniversary for the division they're actually going to be giving away free emote celebration you guys don't know what emotes is emotes are the things that your character is able to do as of clap jumping jack take a bow you know those new stuff they added into the game now also they're also going to have like double experience point events that's also going to be taking place between march 9th and march 10th all right so you'll be getting double the experience points so when you do your hvts you'll actually be getting double the reward and anything else that have to do with your field proficiency caches you'll also be getting double rewards for that and they're also going to be giving you 200 premium credits all right premium credits are some of the new credits that they add into the game that you use in that rewards claim vendor down in your terminal next to the underground right behind the underground with the big neon sign that says open seven days basically all right you can't miss it so 
there you guys have it that's basically it for right now for the year two content let me know in the comment section below what is your thoughts about year two and what was your thoughts about year one and what was your experience exactly let me know what you were more excited about in year one and what were you less excited about in year one, all right? And what do you want to see exactly happen in year two? Now, one of the main things that I was blowing up on the stream today, I told them full customization. Just like Ghost Recon, full customization of the character is something that I truly love in all games. Like, if I have full customization of any character, I might buy the game just because of that because it's always dope to see how deep in detail a game could go. Witcher 3 has a very in-depth customization of their character. And a lot of other games, I just can't think of them on top of my head. So let me know in the comment section below, you know, what are your thoughts? And what are your impressions about year one? Was it good? Was it bad? Did you have fun with it? I want to know. So let's get this thing started, all right? So yeah, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And yeah, it's your boy Narakis. I'm going to see you when I see you. Peace!